Hello everyone, my name is Quicksilver. Today we're going to be going over the best class setup for the FAL. Now, uh, I, have, I was thinking of a few guns to do. I thought, you know, this one might be a nice one to do just because uh, I know a lot of people find it hard to use. So I thought I'd just give you some tips on how to use it and what what, um, what the best class setup is for it. And, um, you know, you might not like this setup, but it's what I'm going to go with for the best class setup. So, first of all, we have Reflex there, as you can see, straight off. So, um, you know, I'm using Reflex just for the accuracy there. You have to use it. The iron sights aren't that accurate, or you can't be very accurate with the iron sights on this weapon. Uh, well, just because it's like three bar, three lines, and they really don't tell you where the enemy are that well. So, and you don't have much, like, much sort of in the way of visualization on seeing the enemy through the iron sights because they're not very clear. So, Reflex just makes, uh, makes the sight a lot clearer and you get that pinpoint accuracy you really need with this weapon because it is um, a, a semi-automatic weapon and with these weapons you do need a lot of accuracy so reflex there just to help with the accuracy uh, stock as I always use as I always use and I always say you know just to help with that strafing around corners and especially with this gun you need it a lot because if you're gonna if you're not if you're not shooting constantly like a machine gun you might be missing a few bullets that you could have fired then you need to be dodging the enemy's bullets just to give you the, the upper hand, you know, the biggest upper hand you can have is stock, so definitely use it on this gun. I mean, you might find it alters your aim a bit, but once you get used to it, you'll be you'll be really good with this weapon, so stock is a must-have on this weapon. Um, the next gun I'm using... Oh, sorry. Oh, what did you... Hi guys, Quicksilver here, and today I'm going to be going over the best class setup for the FAL. Now, I know, I know um, a lot of people aren't very good with this weapon, so I thought I'd just give you guys the best class setup and help you uh, be better with it, give you a few tips with it, and also, yeah, just tell you the class setup so, uh, so you can be a better player in Call of Duty and with this weapon. So let's get straight into it. First off, I'm using Reflex, as you can see there. Reflex, just for that pinpoint accuracy, you really need it with this gun, because, you know, if you don't, you're missing those bullets in between the shots, because if with a machine gun, it fires constantly, with this, it doesn't. So you need that extra accuracy to make up for that loss of uh, uh, fire rate. There you go, that's the word. I can't remember it. So, and next we have Stock, just for the uh, the strafe kills, the strafe around corners. It really helps with, you, with your aiming as well. And... Um, if you can incorporate it, uh, the moving uh, a lot while you're aiming down sights, it will really help you so so much there. And um, also, also, you know, just it gives you an upper hand on dodging enemies bullets, so you can side strafe round the bullets, and uh, yeah, that helps a lot also. So that's why I'm using stock there. Uh, and finally, as you can see, I'm using suppressor. You know, not a, a very conventional attachment for this weapon, but I went for it because. I know. I thought, why not I try it? Putting suppressor, just like I did with the MAA one, and it really, really did work. You know, you have um, you, your gun suppressed; so they can't see on the map. They can hardly hear you, and it's very good to have with this weapon, because you know, if you're caught at close range, like I said with the MAA one, you're pretty much dead because you don't have that close range, uh, that's close quarters um, sort of fire rate that you need and accuracy with this weapon. So. Um, mid to long ranges I'd say with this weapon I don't know what that guy was doing there but yeah mid to long ranges with this weapon are best so uh, definitely try and get in those uh, in, in combat in, in mid to long range because that will really help uh, help your gameplays and things like that guys and um, yeah so I was saying as I was saying suppressor you can't get seen on the map it helps in that way and uh, it doesn't really just like the MAA one it doesn't really affect a, a, a lot at all really like the damage uh, you'd think it would, I mean, so did I, but I tried putting it on, because I put it on the MAA one, and it really didn't affect the damage, like, whatsoever, so, uh, very, very useful to have suppressor on this weapon, just try using it, you know, even if you think, oh, that's stupid, I won't use it, just try using it, just for one game, uh, maybe two, because the first game might be a bit, you might be a bit bad with it, but yeah, just try using it, trust me, it, it will help you get better gameplays, just because they can't hear you on the map, and they don't know where you are, um, so yeah, that's why I'm using Suppressor. Uh, let's go on to the perks now. I'm using Hardline as always. You know, just so I can get those score streaks 25% faster. 25% less score. It's so much easier to get the score streaks you need. Especially since I'm, I'm running a, a, a Swarm there and the VSAT. It really helps me get those. Because now I've started running um, VSAT Dogs and Swarm. Just so the dogs keep people busy. So they're shooting the dogs and they don't actually focus on killing me. But to get to that VSAT is quite hard. So you 
a hard line, you really need that, it really helps you get to the VSAT straight away. <coughs> oh, sorry about that, coughed a bit. Yeah, so that's why I'm using hard line, just to get my score streaks quicker, as I always say, I use that perk. And now, I'm using a, uh, a perk 2 wild card again, and um, as always, my subscribers will know, I use scavenger and toughness. Scavenger, just so I can get, a, yeah, that guy camping there, 27-1. Luckily, um, yeah, you know, scavenger toughness just to get that, um, you know, keep the keep the the kill streak going with my weapon uh, for scavenger and for toughness, you know, just to just to get a pinpoint accuracy again when some, someone's shooting at me and it makes it a lot easier for me to shoot back at them. Uh, so that's why I'm using toughness and scavenger, and then the final one I'm using C4. So uh, that game plan is a bit short there, but I went 27 and one. That was that was a good gameplay for me, especially this weapon, because I don't actually like it that much, but I find it hard to use as well, so I thought I'd give you guys a few tips there. Um, yeah, so mid to long ranges with the weapon is really useful to use it in, and uh, also putting stock on it will really help you a lot, and suppressor. You don't have to put red dot, but that's my preference, but red dot also helps with accuracy a lot, I noticed that. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, please leave a like rating, it really helps me out, and... Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, just to keep up with my best class setups, and I'll definitely be doing some Call of Duty Ghosts on day one when it comes out, um, it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, so I'll see you in my next video.